<clears throat> hey guys, Breach here, and we're back with more Dragon Conquest. And we're back in the present. Oh shit. We're also returning to the same fucking spot we're at. Because of course we are. <laughs> We've got to make a quick pit stop today. Before we go to uh, where we're actually going... We want to go... There's an island down to the southeast there. And... It sprung up without notice alongside some of our other islands. So we need to, uh... Make a trip over there. Okay. Just need to go directly southeast for a little bit. Uh, a little bit further south, but we can afford to go directly east for a while. So how are you guys doing this wonderful Tuesday? Oh, battle on the sea. I'm actually going to leave these in just because they're so few and far between. And they go by so fast, it's like not even worth my time to edit it out. So let's see. Do do do. Almost there. Almost there. Here we go. And we have Mazar. A nice little desert bazaar type town. And we're here just for one thing real quick. Um, there should be a well somewhere here. That we need to go investigate. So let's see if we can find that real quick. There we go. Evil well. Oh no. That's stronger than a scare well. Um. What am I doing? I know the sword dances that direction from there. Yeah, this uh, this should be pretty quick. How, how good's our, uh... Okay, good. All unaffected by it. Damn! Our sword dance damage on the hero is getting a lot better with now that we're getting actual upgrades. Oh, who's getting a level up? Maribel to 27. Which is actually the cap for, uh, Crage. So I'm kind of glad we did our grinding earlier. Quiet, boy dog. Snoring in the recording. So, down here in the well, we have a land chart that we need. And that's all we're going to do in Mazar for now, besides getting a good warp point. Now, as you'll remember, Mentare. Really? Game? As you'll remember, Mentare was right across the bridge from, uh, whatchamacallit, from Litorud. So now that Litorud's back, we can just cross the bridge and go there. Making sure to go diagonally. Hey, another tiny metal. Gotta love tiny metals. So we can adequately dodge all the people. I don't think there's anything properly in town. But I do want to come in here just to investigate any uh, weapon shop that they have. Okay, pots, get out of the way. Let's see, do you have anything good? What you got? Not much better. I mean, there's that power fist for Gabo, which I'm still on the fence about whether or not I actually even want to pick up. You guys got anything good in the armor shop? Ooh, platinum shield. Captain's hat. I actually snagged two of those captain's hats. I'm going to do that off screen, though, with all our money from the, from the bank vault. 
However, here in Lito Rod, our main concern. Oh, hey, the statue's still missing an arm. So, this was designed by Bollock 2. Truly marvelous. I especially enjoy the bend in the middle there. Pure genius. Our real destination here is uh, Bollock's workshop. Although, we do need to. I will need to go back over there for uh, something in town. This tower is the last work of Bollock, the great architect. He supposedly left all his valuables inside, but now the place has been taken over by monsters! You can go treasure hunting if you want, but be careful. Okay, are you a monster? There's a staircase further on, but it's completely inaccessible. When I stepped on that blue floor tile, the door opened. I still can't... whatever. Ooh, a bow tie. I feel so fucking dapper. That really didn't hurt that much at all. Okay, well, the door opened and closed. Door is locked. I can move that statue. Okay, we have a new enemy. And because we're powered up, I think it's still going to be kind of a cakewalk. Yeah, if you guys had lived through the rock smash, then I probably would have felt bad. I bet if we put this on that other tile in front of the other door down there... Oh, wait, I... That's to go there. This statue goes down here. Could you not hook on the statue there, kid? Oh. Well, we got a metal slime and some Eggeron thing. I'll have you guys attack the metal slime. I don't expect anything out of that. I just want to take out the Eggeron. Still didn't take out the Eggeron. My, my. Well, let's see if a sword dance will actually hit the metal slime. He's sticking around. Interesting. Okay, that's that's what I was waiting for and what I expected. Okay, so why won't you push onto the tile? Is there another one? Oh We get both of these held down and it opens up the way. That makes sense. And you know what? I want Household to actually get off here and get you guys up to full. So I'll have both of you guys do it. Make sure that one of you can go before the hero. Okay, so we get statues on both of these little tiles. And that's what opens up that door further on. That just makes too much sense. I don't know why I was trying to do it the hard way. So let's get you pushed all the way over here. Aren't we so fucking clever? Is there another chest over there? No, just a dude. Okay, so we got another floor. Oh, we got moving tiles on this floor. It's over in this direction. Anything? It's the way back. So on we go to here okay oh we can motherfuck let's talk to this dude who appears to be trapped in here I had no monsters were walking around here I'm getting out of here while I'm still alive yeah I'm good dude I'll, uh, I'll deal with the monsters they're kind of weak sauce okay somehow we gotta get onto that blue button 
I don't know why, but it feels right. So, let's just deal with this Eggeron. Should die one round. Not like that brave little Eggeron who withstood a rock throw earlier. So we can get up there. Already got the, uh, already got the treasure chest across that barrier. Let's get you on there. Other statue on the other part. I'm glad I actually found out these statues can move. Because that'd be obnoxious. Not knowing that. Strange looking object is displayed here. Okay, watch out for holes. That's what we learned last time. Nope, not going that way. Oh no, we've got to fight some pillars. Some column men. Eh, yeah. Whatever. I think these guys are going to die fast, probably. It's because we're a little stupid strong right now. They might take two rock throws. Oh no. Yeah, and because we're the hero class, we get 30 HP healed after every round. So. Yeah, it's. We shouldn't have any issues now. <laughs> yeah, they're dead. You guys want to start shit two other columns? How about you? You guys must not have seen what happened over there. Um, okay, I'll enlighten you. Yeah. I don't even feel like fucking around with you. You guys are dead as shit now. Boom! Yeah. If you guys live through that, you, uh, you deserve to. And, is that Hero or Gabo? Gabo, finally at 25. Dude's been kind of slacking behind a little bit. Which I think is part of just getting him late. I hope this doesn't make me just fall outside. Okay, no, I had to go this way. Sweet. Chandelier. Let's hit that blue button. Where do we go? Why, to the top. Oh, hey, dragon face. The breath of dragons is extinguished by the gift of sight. Okay, well, what does the gift of sight mean? Does that mean we have to watch it? Oh! Oh, we have to... Dragon Eye. That's what that means. Let's see, can I just... Damn it. I have to actually go into here and use this each time. How wonderful. No wonder the speedrun uses a glitch for this. We got the silk tuxedo. You know this rock looks important. Let's uh, let's carry it with us. Yes. Let's remove the dragon's eye. I bet this rock will come in handy up there on that. Uh, up on that, um, that pedestal that we saw. Right over there. No special effects. Worse armor rating. Yeah, no thank you. 
gift of sight to the dragon. And then just march around through the door. What's over here? Oh. I'm not controlling the spin on this room, by the way. That is entirely the room doing that. Is there anything else in here, or was it literally just to do that? Okay, what do you do, Switch? Well, you clearly lowered the water here. Oh, there's a hole there now. It's on this side. A switch. Okay. Let's see what happens when we push this. Oh, what, is it? what do you say? Step upon the four signs and the path to the sanctuary is yours. Okay, so there should be two more buttons at least. Maybe. in here. Another button. Is that our final button? Let's go find out. By George it is. We get a tiny metal. Come on. I get it. Tiny metal. Another land shard. Is this an, a wind shard? And what do we have in the final chest? An intelligence seed. Nice. Painting is captioned, My Beloved Daughter. The lady in the picture resembles Amy, the girl at the end. The Days of Our Youth. It looks like a painting of Bollock and Cranny with a young woman. That's nice. I think I'm through here. Let's, uh... Let's go back to Lido Road, though. Because I think we have something waiting for us over at Cranny's. So let's check that out. Who are you? I'm a scholar studying the life of the architect Bollock. Right now I'm busy researching his daughter Amy. Oddly enough, the identity of her mother is completely unknown. However, I believe that Cranny, the owner of this house, knew. If only he left behind some clue leading to Amy's mother. A well, horned hat. I don't think that's the clue. But I do think... That there is another wind shard down here. Okay, come on. They say the great Bollock once used this room as his studio. If I paint here, maybe inspiration will lead strike me too. Bollock's clock tower. Oh joy, that painting. The joy of painting. <laughs> okay. I think that is all that we have to do here. So let's run back to the ruin real quick. And just fly through that roof. And we have at least one land shard and a couple wind shards. So let's see if... Nope. That not fitting there. Some of these are fitting on this bad boy. 
Okay, I think this may be our next island. Hmm. Yes, yes indeed. It does appear to be so. Let's go check it out and at least see what the first town has to say before we call it a day here. Okay, so we're starting in the mountains. Enemies are the same so far. What do we got here? What is this town? For your travelers, it's unusual for us to have travelers two days in a row. This is Avon. We don't have much to offer. Please stay as long as you like. I think you probably have, oh, 20 gold. I bet you're hiding a mini metal at least. Musician, musician, la la la, tra la la. Whoa, you scared me. I can't get the tune that wandering musician played yesterday out of my head. I can't stop humming it. I'm too. Wandering musician? Huh. It's probably nothing. Hey, I found Herb. Damn it. Whoa. That was disorienting. Staircase at the edge of this village is an entrance to a tunnel through the mountains. If you go south after you go through the tunnel, you will see Huzu. If you go northeast, you will see Hanelia. This tunnel is closed at night time. You should go to the chieftain's house. You may be able to stay there. Why don't you spend the night there and come back tomorrow morning? Okay. Fine. You the chieftain? Yeah, great music. Whatever. Don't care. Show me what you got. You got dick. No, thank you. Is this an item shop? Yes, it is. What, what, what do you have? You don't have anything. You guys really don't have much here, do you? So far, I can't even find where your damn chieftain lives. I'm the chieftain of this village. You have an old lady sprite, but okay. Oh, you are an old lady. Yes, I have. Haha, <laughs> honesty. I like that. By the way, have you seen much of the village yet? Yes. You must have seen that the tunnel through the mountains is closed off. We're deep in the mountains, so there aren't any ends here. Why don't you just stay at my house? Sure. You can stay as long as you'd like. Baby, you can have whatever you like. Uh, game? How late are you planning to sleep here, Seven? I think we're missing something interesting that's happening in the village. Okay, so that was intentional on the game's part. Got to check every cranny and nook for these little bastards. Hopefully there's fighting going on. There's no one out here anymore. Is there anyone in any of these places? Well, that's peculiar as fuck. It's like it's a ghost town that you can only access at night. Door is locked. Oh shit. Shit in a shangle. Here's a treasure chest. Oh, just a mini metal. Yeah, you guys are really spitting them at us at this point. No, no. Oh, finally, new enemies. See how rock throw stacks up against rock golems. I mean, I have no doubt that your enchanter will die from it. Especially if he's just going to cast heal on you. You guys look awfully familiar. Kind of like someone that we beat the shit out of at the beginning of our journey. Back when we were rolling around with Hank. I expected one of those to be an evil base. Oh, a Mooner. Haven't seen any of those. I mean, we don't really have a use for one, but 
And we haven't seen one, so. Yeah, these these guys aren't striking me as too terribly threatening. Perhaps it's later on that I was reading that we're supposed to be, you know, at fear for our lives. I don't know. I just know that the boss of this next section can be kind of an asshole. So let's see. Oh, we came through the mountain. What is here? Some kind of a church shrine. There's a small fishing village called Huzu to the south of here. Beyond the mountains to the east, there's a village called Hemelia. Wherever you go, I recommend making frequent entries in your adventure journal. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm at least going to get to one of these towns first, but I think that's a hint that enemies are about to start using instant death spells a lot. <clears throat> oh, a traveler, welcome. This village is called Huzu. Who's who? Got anything good? Battle axe, power fist. Ooh, a mist staff. And a mace that. You guys are going to convince me to actually get some good good. If you guys have a, a shop in this town, I do believe that I will purchase some of your wares. Is there a bank anywhere? They got a bar. la di da la di da Yes, I'm singing. You got a problem with it? Nope. Stop bothering me. Mind your own business. Scram. Well, that was just 25% luck. I figured there was something in one of these. Which just goes to prove the answer is always C. God, you guys got shit in all your barrels. Sea monsters have been getting really tough lately, and the number of fish has decreased. If things continue pretty soon, we won't be able to fish. Found a leather hat. Okay. Might not be harvest time, but we can't neglect taking care of the fishing nets. It's the only comfort for us since we can't go to harvest anytime soon. Yeah, so these guys are having an issue with the sea. Welcome to our temple, O Lost Land. I don't want to save just yet. Because I'm still always afraid that something's going to fuck up. Late last night, the old musician stood on the beach, endlessly staring into the sea. Looked awfully serious. What do you think's going on then? I don't know. Why don't you introduce me to this old musician? I've probably never met him before. The sea seems strange. Said it's frightening. Never seen the sea quite like this before. Uh, get up the ladder, nerd. One method of fishing is to push off before dawn even breaks. That's why we have a lighthouse here. Okay. That's cool. Did I go in here? Clearly not if the door's still shut. How can a man that age continue working as a traveling musician? Well, with that kind of skill, you figure he'd get hired as a private musician for a king. Okay, so the musician's been through here. I bet he's gone on to Hamelia. So let's, uh, let's loop our way around there and find out. And they're without issue. Item shop. You guys have any better weapons? I haven't made any any purchases yet, because I want to see who's got the best good good. You guys have the best good good. You definitely have the best good good. Okay, so... Let's find a bank and then start purchasing some of these weapons. Let's see, here's the church. Hopefully they didn't put the bank in the church. 
I'm going to keep recording just in case I find this wandering minstrel while I'm trying to uh, find the bank. Talk to the dude in the bathtub. Don't tell me you like to watch guys taking baths. No. Yeah, sure. <laughs> that is a little creepy. Are you just walking to this guy's house? He's taking a bath. Hey, the fuck are you doing in my house? Excuse me, you want to know if I'm the traveling musician? No, I live here. It's awfully peaceful here. Yeah, some big crisis might come. Are you travelers? Oh, how nice. I longed to go on a journey when I was young. I want to travel where you have never been. What's in here? Man, if you guys could just give me... I say that long ago, a ferocious monster lived in the sea near this continent. Rumor has it the beast caused an entire island to sink into the sea. Just think about it, like, it doesn't make your heart race. The moon that fell into the sea. How wonderful. Okay, yeah, I don't, I don't care about this story anymore. Just end it. Fucking God. Yes. What all the villagers disappeared? Don't be silly. The village might be small, but there's no way something like that could happen. You think something bad's happened? Okay. In the end. I'm traveling to fight monsters, but this area is too darn peaceful. Maybe I should move on to fight elsewhere. Nothing in here. Haven't found our bank vault. Haven't found this traveling merchant fella. Or traveling bard. Why is there a lookout tower in the town? Is this peaceful? Perhaps there was a war long ago. It's in the basement. Strength seed. Oh, there was something else down there. Oh no, it was just piles of wood. Don't need to get distracted by the wood. A lesson I remind myself daily. Long ago, there was a highly advanced city on a small island not far off the shore of the mainland. Greg, excuse me, Greg has destroyed the city, sitting at the bottom of the sea, serving as a reminder of the sea demon's power. Now rests undisturbed, littered with the broken bodies of those last and lost in its battle. People of Avon, Pumalia, and Huzu are all descendants of the survivors of that attack. God, motherfucker, you are a wordy son of a bitch. Talk, talk, talk. Hard day long. Ah, another day of complete peace in Amelia. Excellent. There's the other stairs. By the viewer's spectacular, isn't it? You can see all the way to the mountain tower. Oh, the mountain tower, huh? Damn it. I would bet dollars to donuts that that's probably where the uh, traveling board went. Ever since my husband took up cooking as a hobby, life's been easy. Well, is that you find it strange for a man to be cooking? These days, any man worth his salt should know how to cook. Agreed. Otherwise, you won't be a hungry some some gun. Well, here's a bar at least. You cannot enter a place like this. That young lady drinking over there is a real white. You better not go near her. What do you care? You have a problem with a woman drinking alone at a bar? Not really. I like kicking back and having some fine air. Sometimes I think I can almost hear a voice coming from beneath the floor. Maybe I just drink too much. Or maybe you're on to something there, Skip. Mayhaps you're on to something.
Let's see if he's on to something. Oh, we can go through here. Well, hello. It's unusual for outsiders to make it this far inside. This is the town treasure store. They say it even contains items from a lost city. But it's guarded closely. I've never actually seen it myself. Treasures of Familia. You must leave this area at once. Okay. I bet after we solve your problems, you'll let me have them. We'll see about that, traveler. <laughs> okay. I've gone on quite enough. I think I'm going to go ahead and, uh, well, if I can find anyone to say that, then I'm going to go ahead and do it. Yep, here's the church. Okay, guys, going to call it a day for there. Next time, we'll go up to this mountain tower, go kick some ass, find a bard, go solve all this island's problems. I'll catch you then. Have a good one.